Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a plan with me video for the month of September. I'm a 22 year old medical student in Brazil. Yes, I know the August and September videos were very like close, but that's because I did the August video like mid month. Now we're doing the September. Today is September 2nd, 3rd actually. So we've got plenty of time to edit the video post. I think I'm going to post this. If not tomorrow, then Friday. I'm just, I'm genuinely happy. So let's start with reviewing this past month and then we'll go on planning September, okay? So the month of August. This was a challenging month because I started thinking I would basically change the world and I am changing the world. I'm actually, I'm trying to change my, you know the drill. I did not expect to face some mental health issues. I did not expect to face feeling anxious all the time. I mean, sometimes I call it anxiety, but I do need to be more mindful when calling it anxiety because I do not have like a psychiatrist diagnosed disease, you know? I have studied psychiatry during medical school, but because I'm looking forward to being an example of going to the doctor to seek for help and then getting your diagnosis, I am calling it feeling anxious and not anxiety okay let me just get down on my soapbox so sorry for the spiel let's start looking at this month okay so when planning this video i did go through my like notion page and made some comments let's start with health and fitness okay so gym weightlifting three times per week i almost could not finish i feel like if i were to be graded i would get like a seven out of ten okay. and i feel like i haven't seen progress or growth i am keeping the goal the same if i feel like the goal is like way out of my league and completely unrealistic that I'm changing it and if I feel like I've completed the goal I'm going a, a step further okay I'm going through some tough times with my hair so please do not comment on it okay I will cry and have a mental breakdown as I've had several times this month so I am going to check that because I feel like like I did I did my part okay running 10k every week barely like reach two kilometers per week i have been struggling with my schedule so i could not insert running this month this is why i'll be like changing it to 5k every week because this was just not attainable not to my routine not to my standards you know keep three run runs under an eight pace could not even dream to do so so healthy foods at night again if i were to grade myself i would get like a five out of ten i did actually avoid eating high sugar food in the morning so now on to budgeting and finance. Okay, so this is like the overall expenses by percentages of August. Okay, so in terms of spending, I did spend less this month, probably because I didn't go out as much with my boyfriend, with my friends. Okay, so coming second after food, we have Subway. I think I've spent like a hundred bucks on Subway this month. Following the Subway, we have my business which would be apps I pay for and subscriptions I pay for to work, to edit videos. I'm still paying for my new mic. Following in fourth place, we have health, which would be pharmacy shopping, female care stuff. Then we have medical school. I generally do not have like expenses with medical school because again, my parents take care of my tuition. We did present a poster this month and we had to pay to get the poster printed out. And then we have this huge part of the chart which accounts for my investments again i know my investments are not like expenses but because when they just go onto my bank account i will be counting them as gains i do like to account them for expenses because i can see like that amount of money just leaving my bank account to go into my investing you know okay i did do my two week recap like budgeting and finance recap which is great and i did do my monthly recap i did it yesterday if you want me to make a video on my monthly finance recap just let me know i will gladly make one and i did invest to 200 bucks we should start with the small things you know working and growing my business i did not achieve 30 e-commerce sales but i did achieve 20 so i'm almost there but I will not just check that because I did not achieve 30 e-commerce sales. YouTube uploads weekly. I failed. I'm so sorry. I did upload on weeks one, two, and three, but I did not upload on weeks four and five. I think it was a lack of organization and planning. I did have like a lot of social events during both weekends, which is when I usually work on my videos. So yes, no, and no. But I am maintaining this goal. I do want to upload every single week of September. 
okay? I did follow my content calendar. I'm very proud of myself. Did not go through the like new OBGYN notebook and the new mini notebook. Now on soul and mindfulness, this is the part I am most like proud of myself. I did complete my weekly refle reflections every single week. I do my weekly reflections on day one. And if again, if you want me to make a video about it, I would gladly make one. Did complete my daily day one entries and did meditate three times three times per week. Even though I face some like deep and dark mental health issues this month, I am proud of myself for doing the bare minimum, you know, which is this. I don't know where I'd be if I hadn't like completed this, like those, okay? Actually, this is, this would be like food for thought. I did not complete the 150 pages, more like 20 to 30 pages. The moments I have throughout the day to read the most are commute. So when I'm in the train or the subway, but during like this past month, I decided to work. So I would be editing videos on my phone or on my tablet during commute. So that's why I couldn't read as much. I do need to keep myself more accountable though. This is like a part of my day I need to work harder on. I did finish Lion by Sam Harris. I actually finished, finished it like in the first week of August. I did not start live lessons from a brain surgeon because I couldn't, I, I, I don't have the money to buy the book and I did not even like completed the 150 pages. So I am going to put this book on pause. I have it pinned on my Pinterest board and I will come back to it one day, I hope. I did not listen to three podcast episodes. I did listen to one though, which was How to Find Meaning in a Digital World by Ali Abdal and Karma Medic was the guest. There are like huge inspirations for me and huge role models. Again, not perfect on the food for thought part, but I uh, but we are getting better day by day. Okay, medical school and research. Did I complete my Anki reviews every day? No. If I were to grade myself, I would give myself a six out of 10. Publish one article. The article is on the work, okay? But instead of publishing one article and one clinical case review, I did publish two, two, three clinical case reviews. So I feel like I, like I, I've reached some like balance, okay? And then I did make progress with my research and I am, insanely proud of myself and last but not least i did listen to the new sabrina carpenter album you guys okay i do not know what that girl put on this album but i've been listening to bad Kim, juno and taste and good graces for like they're on repeat for the last like 10 days literally on repeat and i did not finish house of dragons but i did finish game of thrones who saw that coming i just need to see the last episode okay the last episode has been like staring at me on netflix for days but i need to watch it with my boyfriend and we've been like focused on game of thrones i do not know how i managed to go through life without getting like one game of thrones spoiler this was the month of august i'm not proud of myself but i did face a lot of anxiety during this month like now being real honest and open with you guys i had a lot of existential crisis episodes crying uncontrollably it was a tough month now we're just taking ourselves back up, okay? Let's go to September. Okay, so here we have the month of September and why did I choose a compass for this this like month's emoji? Going through August, I had a lot of moments when I felt lost. Now the goal for September is for me to maintain course, keep steady, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. I'm so sorry if it doesn't. Okay, when talking about health and fitness, gym weightlifting three times per week, running 5k every week and keep three runs under an 80 an eight like eight minute pace i did put like a lot of treadmills here because i cannot just go to the park that often during my week so most of my running just happens on a treadmill so this is why also like maintaining healthy foods at night no high sugar foods in the morning and okay we have a new one wait one hour for coffee three times per week why because I listen a lot to the Huberman lab and I know that one of his protocols involves like waiting a few minutes to then drink coffee. Do I drink coffee first thing in the morning? Yes. I wake up 10 minutes later, it's like caffeine time. I know this is not ideal, so I wanted that to change. I know I will not be able to change that drastically. So three times per week, budget and finance, same, same old, same old two week recap, monthly recap, and then invest. 200 bucks if i'm able to invest more that's great if i'm not also great so as i said we did make 20 uh, e-commerce sales i do want to make more 
So 35 is my goal. I feel like I've been like getting to a like more steady pace. Follow my content calendar that I basically plan out every like start of the month, which I already have. YouTube uploads weekly, weeks one, two, three, and four. Goals that I had not been able to achieve on August. They are coming in this month. Soul and mindfulness. I felt like this quote spoke to me a bit because as I said, I was feeling very lost. And then I found this quote that said, Life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. Okay, so weekly reflections, my day one entries and my meditation sessions. I am going to keep myself more accountable on reading 150 pages of Outlive by Peter Thiel. I have one month, it's basically five pages per day. It's completely achievable. And then listen to three podcast episodes. Medical school and research, it's like more of the same. Anki review every day, publish one article. I feel like we'll be able to publish it this month. I hope so. Progress with HIV research. I have started in like a, an HIV themed research with two of my friends. So I'm just looking forward to make progress with that and progress with my own research. Manage to do all those things. I will consider myself a victor, okay? And for entertainment, we have finished House of Dragons and then finished The Last of Us because I did start watching The Last of Us with my boyfriend and I loved it. As you can see, I did not make huge changes on my goals and that's because as i said i do not want to set myself up for failure and then making september a harsh month as well and if i manage to complete like 80 percent of everything i've set myself for i will be glad okay guys so that was it i hope i did not like disappoint you guys with more of the same maybe we'll like aim higher for october and november but right now i'm just do the bare minimum sometimes our minimum is our maximum my friend told me this once like sometimes our 30 percent is our 100 percent, and that's okay this template will be available for you guys down below in the description and yeah that's it see you guys on the next week's video bye